Hey Glam Fam, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video um, just sharing with you a few of my slays and nays. Now, um, I tried out a couple new products for the month of July. A lot of them did work out um, and I'm really happy with them. They're actually currently a part of my Ride or Die products, so that was really good. But um, a couple of them didn't work out either and I thought I would just make this video so I could share with you which ones didn't work out um just the pros and cons if you want to find out what my slays and nays were for the month of july then just keep watching now i'm gonna start off by talking about one of my absolutely favorite products for the month of july um, and that is the Stila heavens hue highlighter it is in the shade kitten it is absolutely gorgeous it's the putty highlighter and um, look at that, like it's just the most blinding highlight you have ever laid your eyes on and it's amazing. Um, I bought this because I know, because um, Laura Lee recommended on her channel to test it out and I thought of course because everything that she's recommended um, I have loved and this was another one of them. So I absolutely recommend you get this. This is in the shade Kitten. It is just so blendable. Um, you can put it on top of powders as well, which is strange because it's like a putty consistency, see? But um, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. This is my probably my new current obsession. So uh -huh. now that we're on the topic of highlighters, I'm going to share with you one of my Nay products, which is the Urban Decay Afterglow palette. The packaging is beautiful. Um, it retails for about 55 Australian dollars, which is why I was so disappointed because it's not cheap for a highlighting palette and it looks really pretty like the colors look so gorgeous But I just found that they're very chalky like they're just chalky and I Just don't like them very powdery um, So that was a fail for me. So that was Definitely a fail for me. Um, it might work out for you, but yeah, this was a no-no. Now, one of my favorite bronzers that I tried out this month was the Nanatio Sun Swept Bronzer. It is, first of all, comes in a massive pan. It was really affordable too. It was only $20 and you get so much for your money. And it is just such a gorgeous like warm toned bronzer but it also has like reflex in it so i'm just going to take some on my brush and show you like instantly just warms up the face it's beautiful like it's so nice and it comes with a really nice mirror too um so yeah this was actually one of my favorites for the month of july it's also winter in australia so when I find a good bronzer that keeps me looking healthy, glowing and bronzed all through the year, that's just great. Um, so this is a definite must. The bronzer that did not work out for me this month was the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. Um, this is a drugstore product. It's one of those baked kind of things. Um, I just think it's really muddy looking like... I mean, when, when it's swatched, it looks really quite nice, but when you try to blend it out, it's just so hard, and when you blend it out, it just ends up looking muddy, and I just, I was not a fan, um, so yeah, that's a shame, but this was a nay for me. So, a real slay for me this month was the lip colour that I'm wearing right now, and it is such a pretty metallic rose gold, and that is the Smashbox the Legendary Liquid Metal and that is in the shade Petal Metal. Um, the applicator was just it's so like the applicator is really good. It's kind of like it's not doe foot applicator, it's more like triangular, but it just makes it so easy to apply. Um, makes it so easy to apply. Um, and it's rose gold. The liquid lipstick that did not work out for me this month was the Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I just, I've tried out her 
matte liquid lipsticks before and I was not a fan. Um, so I just wanted to buy these and give them a shot because the, like the colours are so pretty. Like there's some gorgeous colours in here but um, the formula I just do not like. Like it's just way too trying. Um, I'm just not a fan and some of them were really streaky as well like the shade Gorge for example really really streaky um, and yeah it's just not my favorite formula of liquid lipstick. A real hit for me this month was the Violet Boss X Laura Lee palette. Um, this came back into stock in July and I was so happy because when it when it did get released I wasn't able to snatch it up it sold out so quickly so when they had a restock um, on Beauty Bay I was like so happy so yeah I got this and the holographic packaging is just beautiful I've never tried out a um, Violet Boss palette before but I was really impressed I just love the name um, the shade range that it comes with it's got heaps of warm tone colors but it also has on um, like a few pops of colors. So an item that did not work out for me this month was the Rimmel London Exaggerate Liner. Um, this is in the shade Black. This did not work out just because I find it's such a weird applicator and it's just fun. it just makes it super hard to draw on like a a good wing. I just did not the rest of the video featuring a very special guest and this is Sunny. He's my little baby. He's four months old and yeah he's being a bit loud in the background so I thought he may as well just join the video. Not work out because I just find that the applicator is too thick. It's just like a real thick weird shaped applicator um, and when you try and draw a fine wing on it's just too thick and it did not work out for me. So something that did work out for me this month is Guinea Brow by Benefit. What it is, it is sort of like an eyebrow mascara. I'm in shade 3 um, but it also adds fibre so it's like a fibre gel so if you don't have very thick eyebrows like me like my real eyebrows are very thin and sparse so this is good because it adds on that volume that did not work out for me this was a definite nay this is the elf blush in the shade candid coral um i've tried out elf before and a lot of the products have worked for me and and a lot of the products for me but i think it's kind of a hit and miss um so it's a really pretty shade like a peachy coral shade if you will um however it's just chalky and hard to blend so that did not work for me and i probably won't be using it again <coughs> so to wrap up my slays and nades video for the month of july Um, I will be mentioning a foundation that worked out really well for me. This is the Wet n Wild Auto Focus Foundation. I live in Australia, so it's not that easy to come by this. I ordered it from Amazon, um, and it was extremely affordable. It was something like $5.99 US dollars, um, and for a foundation, that is really good. So... That was awesome. Um, I loved it. I love the applicator. I love how it blends out. I'm wearing it today and it just gives a really natural skin-like finish. It's medium to full coverage. Um, but yeah, so this is also one of my new favourites. Some of the products I mentioned in the nays part um, did not work out for me, but doesn't mean that they won't work out for you. They just did not work out for me. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day. If you like these kind of videos, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video and I'll see you in my next video.